Golden Shepherd dog. No, Rosie, that is a Belgian Malinois. But at first glance, there is a resemblance. Although the Malinois is leaner and more agile. Oh, cool! And like the German Shepherd dog, he was originally bred as a herding dog and has taken quite a few of the same jobs, such as police dog, protection dog, and as a family companion. And like the GSD, he is intense, intelligent, and a natural athlete. Whether he's guarding the White House with the U.S. Secret Service, or as a friendly companion at your house, he remains true to the task. Let's get to know him. Hi, I'm Leroy. And I'm Rosie. And this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Number 10. This herding breed from Belgium, who takes its name from the town of Malines, does not have a well-known history before the late 19th century. He may have been helping shepherds care for flocks for centuries, but it wasn't until 1891, in a burst of national pride, that Belgian herding dogs were divided into types and given names. This short-haired Malinois became quite popular as a herder, and his abilities were later turned to police and military work. We publish every Monday and Friday, so hit that notification icon to not miss a single fact. Number 9 During World War I, Malinois dogs worked as messengers, pulled small artillery and ambulance cars, and helped the battlefield medics of the Red Cross. By the 1920s, Malinois kennels were popping up all over Belgium with dogs being bred and shipped to countries all over Europe, South America, the United States, and Canada. The breed was added to the American Kennel Club in 1959. Number 8 The Belgian Malinois is one of four varieties of Belgian sheepdogs which were developed in Belgium in the late 1800s. The four varieties are the Malinois, who is fond to mahogany with a short coat and black mask, the Turverin with a long coat, the Lakenois, who's fine with a rough coat, and the Groenendale, who's black with a long coat. The American Kennel Club recognizes all but the Lakenois as separate breeds in the U.S., while the United Kennel Club recognizes all four types as one. Number 7 the breed is bred primarily as a working dog for personal protection, detection, police work, and search and rescue. However, he can make a fantastic pet, providing you are the right type of owner. He's not a dog for the novice dog lover. All breeds of dogs have various bloodlines, but none of the breeds vary quite as differently in their temperament as the Malinois bloodlines do. There are show and working line dogs, meaning dogs that have generations bred for work or dogs with generations bred for confirmation showings. This creates a significant difference in the looks as well as the temperament of the dogs. Further, Belgian bred dogs are somewhat different than French and Dutch bred dogs. Number six. He is a medium sized dog. An average male Belgian Malinois weighs 60 to 80 pounds and stands 24 to 26 inches tall at the shoulder. Females are slightly smaller at 40 to 60 pounds, standing 22 to 24 inches tall. Number 5 When the Malinois is raised with children, he can be very accepted. But don't forget that he is a herding dog and may have the tendency to chase or nip at children. In his mind, he's just trying to keep the little critters alive, but it should not be permitted. He is best suited to a family with older children who understand how to treat him with respect. Number four. The Belgian Malinois sheds heavily twice a year and sheds little throughout the year. The coat needs to be brushed at least two to three times a week with a firm bristle brush to maintain a healthy looking coat. He should be bathed only when absolutely necessary and must be dried properly after each bath. His eyes and ears need to be cleaned regularly. Number 
Malawa have high energy needs, and should be given plenty of opportunities to run, hike, and play. He is a good fit for an active owner who is willing to bring his furry friend to the park or hiking trail. A sedentary owner or one who works long hours would do best to find a different breed. You don't want a bored or frustrated Malinois left unattended in your house. Number 2 These days, military working dogs are elite warriors and the Malinois leads the pack. The U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6 used a Belgian Malinois named Cairo in Operation Neptune's Spear, the raid that took down Osama Bin Laden. Cairo helped secure the perimeter of Bin Laden's compound, sniffing out bombs. Like the rest of the elite force, Cairo was outfitted with a Kevlar vest with harnesses for repelling and parachuting, a drainage system for waterborne assaults, and night vision goggles. But that's not the only job the U.S. government has given the Malawi, as we'll see in a second. Hey guys, we've been working on our Patreon page and hope you'll check it out at patreon.com slash animalfacts. Number one. Since 1976, to protect the President and the White House, the U.S. Secret Service exclusively uses the Belgian Malinois breed on its elite canine force. After an intruder triggers the alarm, Canine teams are trained to be released within 4 seconds to act as a missile launching into the air to knock the subject down and biting an arm or leg if need be to subdue the person until the handler arrives, according to the Washington Post. The best way these dogs are used is that they can chase down anyone, the military handler said of a dog deployed with the Marines in Iraq in 2005. A Marine might not be able to catch someone, but the dog will. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Or that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.